Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. This video is about motivation. So the topic of this video is called I can't or I can. I can't or I can. Okay, that's a balance. <laughs> I can't or I can. Or I can or I can't. You choose, okay. So I'm going to focus on that on the Bible text that says Philippians 4:13. I can do everything through Christ. I am going to tell you a little story about my life that nobody knows, nobody knows. <laughs> and so I think this could be this could be helpful to people, you know, because um sometimes we think that we can't do stuff, you know, because because we don't have certain stuff or because we don't have the willpower to do stuff, you know. But um, but I think it's really important for you to know that anything is possible if you put your mind into it. Um, when I was young, when I was in my 20s, um, I was having a lot of issues with my life, correct? Uh, with a lot of issues, a lot of problems, you know. Some people that are struggling, you know, with a lot of stuff. And I was one of those. Okay, so I was facing a a lot of a lot of problems which nobody knew, you know. Um and I didn't know what 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 was the cost of it? What was the cost of all those situations? But at the moment I didn't know. So I I my escape from all that was music. Music. I used to listen to every type of music except rock. I used to listen to R&B, hip hop, pop, a, a, I used to listen to rap, every kind of rap. So one day I was driving to the mall, correct? And I was going to buy something, I don't remember. And so I remember that when I was driving to the mall, I was feel discomfort. I was feeling like, oh, it wasn't. What, what am I doing? What, what, what is, what is going on? I feel disturbing. I feel disturbed. I feel disturbed. And so, I, I remember I was listening to music. I was listening to rap. And so I turned it off. But then I felt the need to turn it back on, back, back again because I wanted to listen to music because. There was a need of me to listen to music. I, I always listen to music for everything. Cooking, cleaning, everything. Music was my life. And so when I turn it off, I turn it back on. And and and, and I did that for like quite a few times until I, I, I until I arrived to the mall. When I arrived to the mall, I was listening again to music that they were playing. It was a, kind of the same music that I was what that I was listening to my car, and so I was feeling discomfort too. So I went back home, and so I was thinking, you know what? I think it's the I think the problem was the music that I was listening to, and so I decided to throw it away. But I was thinking, if I throw it away, then I'm gonna feel tempted to get it back. And so I said to myself, I don't know, I don't know how am I going to do this? What? I don't know how am I going to do this? And so when I, when I decided to throw it away, I decided this is how I did it. I went to the nearest auto zone from my parents' house, the nearest one. And so they had those type of garbage cans that you put in, but you cannot take out. And so I put in all those CDs except R&B and I put it in there and so for I don't feel, for I couldn't feel tempted to get those CD back. And so when I did that, I, <laughs> I remember that um, I wasn't feeling, I, I, I felt relief in a few moments but I still was feeling the same. I feel I, I was feeling the same, and I remember my one of my one of my f best friends that I had at the moment. He, I was telling him about that, and then he told me, you know what? Let's trash the R and B music. Let's trash all this romantic music. And so I did. Rem I remember that after I did that, 
a lot of opens, a lot of things open up for me. I remember, I, but I didn't know that at the moment. After I, after I rethink it, and I was like, you know what? This is that was the cause because I was uh, I, I didn't know that the type of music that I was listening. I was always feeling anger. I was feeling always like, uh, you know, I wanna, you know, I wanna do bad stuff and all stuff. And so after I eliminate that from my life i my, a lot of things open up for me you know i allow 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 myself to grow in a, such a way that i did never knew that i could accomplish and so one of the things that i i did accomplish and i didn't know that i could do that that i couldn't do that was when i decided to open up a group you know a singing group you know and right now the singing group is not anymore um, giving service, you know, uh, or singing at the moment. I wish they could go back. <laughs> but I, I, I understand things happen. And so when I, when, when, the, when, when I opened that group, I, I, I didn't know how to sing or I didn't know how to do, I didn't, I didn't know that I couldn't do that. You know what I mean? Because I never studied music. So I just I just knew that I had contacts, you know, and in which I could have talked to them and convinced them. And we, I did. You know, God allowed me to do that. You know, after I closed something or cut something that was putting me down all the time, something beautiful opened up for me. And so... I didn't know that that could have happened. And so after that, I was a youth director, and, you know, a youth director in which I knew I knew I was not prepared to do that, but I say, yes, you know, let's go ahead and do it, you know. And even though I um I was a youth director, and I knew that I, I needed more preparation. I wasn't I was a rookie, you know. I was I needed more help, you know, from God and stuff like that. But I know that God was working with me and working with my personality and working with my um with everything that I was doing. Um and now until I went to Puerto Rico a few years ago, I I was like, I, I need to do something with my life. What what can I do? You know, and can I do um um uh, can I do a canvasser? Can I do a missionary work? A, a, a missionary work? And and I was like, can I do that? And then Sometimes I was feeling like, oh, I cannot do that. I cannot do that because I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do certain stuff. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this and do that, you know? And so, and so when I decided to do that, you know, I, I remember my friends back in the days and back in the, my university life, they were like, you could do this, Luz. You could do this. You just had to pray more and, con and have confidence in yourself. And I remember that, when I started doing it, I was like, what? Are you serious? You know, God is working with me. God is working with me. I, I, I just can't believe that I, I was able to do that. And God was using me as an instrument for his work. And so, um, and so I did that. I was a, I, I was a canvasser. I, I started doing mission work, you know, and then one other thing that I didn't know that I couldn't do was write a program. You know, I thought that people can, uh, pastors or um, or evangelists could write a write a program, and people would act it in, in public and stuff like that. And I write my first program, and we acted out in five churches, you know, as a group, and and we work as a group, you know. And I was like, can I do that? And no, no, I cannot do that. And so I learned a few years later that everything is up to my mind. Sometimes we put it in our mind that, oh no, we cannot do that. But yes, you can. Oh no, I, sometimes we put it in our mind. Oh, I cannot talk to a friend. I cannot say sorry to a friend. 
but yes you can uh, sometimes we think that we cannot succeed because we don't have certain stuff yes you can uh, sometimes you think oh I cannot open a YouTube channel because I'm not I don't have all this stuff yes you can oh I, I cannot do in I cannot be natural because doors are gonna be closed for me yes you can don't worry about those stuff you know um just put your mind into it pray to god to have more confidence in you and to show him that and, and, and for him to show you the way for your life to to grow as a as an individual because sometimes we don't even know that we could do certain stuff but just because we put in our mind oh we cannot do that then we close our own doors and we put a lot of barriers in our way and our step that oh we cannot do stuff like that and then we don't we don't even we don't even do it you know so i i hope you like this video i hope you i hope you um get the point of this video is to motivate you that yes you can you can do whatever you want don't let nobody destroy your dreams don't let nobody destroy your plans your goals everything that you have set up for to for your life so if you want to if you want to do if you want to open up something a youtube channel a web page or write a book or do something or talk or be an influencer don't let anybody destroy your dreams don't let anybody get in the way of that dream or becoming that dream because sometimes when we let that happen when then nobody is gonna know you nobody's gonna know the truly you you know and you just like locked up thinking that you cannot do nothing and I hope I could be an inspiration for you so guys thank you for your attention and I hope and I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification bell and also share this message to someone else Thank you. Bye.